I'm going to try and keep this short. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Sheila Wolk, and this is the Chariot figurine. And it's one of the last ones I did before I decided to stop making figurines. Um, I think it was about two years ago with um, the people that I worked with. Um, they just wanted me to simplify more, delete a lot of changes, and... Um, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I always felt that when um, I make these figurines, um, it's got to be just about as perfect if I wanted to buy them. And this is, I have to tell you, uh, I have about 75 different images out of different paintings of figurines. But this happens to be one of my favorites. But uh, let me just show you some of the details they did. This is, of course, by Pacific. Um, and it's a shame. I, I just tell, told them I just could not eliminate certain changes because each thing I did was so important. But look at this little mouse. Oh, I got to look at my... Um... <laughs> Those little mice were important to me because while I was working, um, I got some dust on here because I just pulled this from my cabinet of figurines. Um, I had a mouse in my studio. So it kind of helped me design this because it was a friendly little thing. And these little frogs and the wings. And I'd never had a painting of this one, the chariot. But let me show you uh, some more of the details here. Um, she's riding on a ladybug, you see. And the ladybug is done so beautifully. I don't know if I can zoom back out. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to pick up the little tripod. Um, see her profile? This is really an exquisite piece. Um because of all the detail and I, I really paid attention because I did it all from just a drawing in my imagination that if I were in the woods and I and I had a ride to get around it, I would pick a ladybug to take me around and all the little critters would join me on my adventure so um here's like the little caterpillar yeah. about to become a butterfly later the detail work again little frog Hmm, little mouse, another little mouse up there holding on for a dear life. Even I wanted the details with their little wings. Yes, very important. And then the little flowers coming down on her hair. I mean, what child wouldn't like this, let alone an adult? <laughs> um, Another little frog, and then we got the grasshopper. I have to have the grasshopper. Little good luck beetles, right, to guide her along the way. I put the uh, sun on the front of her crown and in the back, if, if you can see it, let me see if I can zoom out, my arm hurts. There's a moon in the back of her um, crown. So she's she, she does believe in astrology. <laughs> she got her little hiney, which is so cute. All the pretty little, um, those, this is um, the ladybug's foot, little clovers, the eye of the ladybug, right? We're going to go back around. I got to make this quick. We're into three minutes already. <laughs> There's the little ladybug. Hello. <laughs> Cute, right? So this has got tons of detail. It is a heavy piece. I'm using both hands to hold it, although I'm older now. I'm 76. Getting up there in age. I wonder if my fairies, they always look the same, but they get older too. They're the same age as me, but they always look young, thank goodness, right? Let me see. I don't know if I can enlarge this anymore, but there's a sneak peek of what she looks like. Oh. Let me see if I can put this down and enlarge it at all. Yes, I can. Mouse, mouse, chariot. Look at her. Beautiful workmanship. I mean, I even got into the detail of put blush on her cheeks. Make sure her eyes are perfectly straight. You know, little gloss on the lips. Little buds and color on her hair. I mean, everything is hand-painted on here, so you have to really appreciate it for what it is. Stars in the crown, you know, around the galaxy. The stars and the, and the moon and the sun. Little froggy. Cute. <laughs> Hanging on for her, the little froggy's dear life. And 
coordinating wings. Coordinating wings, even with the colors, right? So that's it for Chariot. And I really wanted you to see how beautiful this piece of sculpture really is. So one more full vision, and then I'll put it up. Pretty, right? Beautiful. Very dramatic in all light. But it's the kind of thing, no matter what angle you put it at, you're going to see something on your table that really speaks to you. This, the ones I'm selling on my site are signed because I only have a few samples. So I signed, I don't know if I signed the bottom of this one. No, but I signed, I'm going to sign her on her leg, you know, or, or maybe over here. I'll decide where to sign her. But um, I have one in a box already signed. This is my sample that stays on my shelf, keeps me company. And every once in a while when I'm doing bills and everything, I just plop her on the table to keep me company because I know she wrote in to keep me company. Okay, her name is Chariot by Sheila Walk, and have a good day. Happy travels.